I'm living a double life like this, okay? Yeah. Can you move? <laughs> Baby, I gotta cut you off. Let's get into Kenavirus jury, okay? Listen, y'all. When I say the way that it sparkles, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but this Huggy right here, I have been absolutely loving the Huggy because I feel like it's a nice dainty piece. It's a piece that also speaks volumes, even though it's dainty. The colors on it are like top tier. You can pretty much wear it with whatever. I mean, if you want to give an all white look and put this on with it, top tier. If you want to give a blue jean look, a denim look, and put it on, top tier. I um, got the Huggies and I got two different types of studs. I think one is like a flower stud and the other one is a butterfly stud. When I say I have gotten so many compliments and questions about my earrings, I wanted to wear them for 24 hours before I told you guys anything about them because I don't like trying out a product and not giving my honest opinion. So I wore them for 24 hours. I think it's been like 26 hours now. And um, 100%, I love them. I'm about to order me a couple more pair because I feel like, listen, Kenavira did her thing. Kenavira did their thing when they um, created these earrings. I just really feel like super cute, super dainty, super pretty with them on. And so, girl, go get some now, okay? Can you move? Um, I gotta go. I gotta get. I'm. I want to get ready. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I want to get some coffee before clinicals, but um, I gotta like beat it. I have to like really. My phone up here. Okay, today is Friday. Today is the day I ran with the doctor, so I'm not gonna be really doing a whole lot. Um, to be honest, it's really just an in and out, so let's go. My daughter says my skin look really good today. It looks okay, okay? <laughs> but I appreciate her giving me some encouraging words this morning because, honey, um, this irritates me on my wrist. I don't know. I... <sighs> First of all, today is Friday. I think I told you guys that already. Today is the day I ran with the doctor at my um, my job, which serves as my one of my clinical spaces as well. So um, I'm always excited to work with this doctor because he is so knowledgeable. He can break shit down from like the brain. Hmm, how can I put it? The pathways in which hormones and not horm yeah hormones and um neurotransmitters the pathway in which they follow in the brain he can go from a to z with that shit like it's amazing to me how he learned and is able to teach about the different pathways the mesolimbic the mesocortical the um nigostriatal it's just different pathways in the brain the brain is so complex which is why it's one of my favorite organs um and so anyway he is very knowledgeable in that area so we always oh let me call him too okay that's what i was gonna say y'all be there okay we'll start bye I need to go in because I can't do this. Um, I can't. I want you, I need you to me. I had a crazy ass dream. Woo. I don't know why every so often I'll dream about like exes. I don't know what that shit is. Like, and I don't like what? <laughs> 
they don't be on my mind because they say when things are on your mind when you go to sleep then sometimes you dream about it nothing was on my mind last night if anything um i'm a little like i'm not gonna say annoyed just like on edge that's what i'll say i'm just a little edgy <laughs> i can't tell you why but you know whatever so please don't block me in here y'all so i'm about to go into a duncan right now because guess the what i need something to eat and something to drink <laughs> Of white chocolate okay and then i'm gonna do uh avocado toast with bacon okay that's it okay i'm back in the car from duncan honey it is packed in here like this man is crazy it's one man that's in, that was in here he pulled up parked his fucking car any type of way whipped um not i'm talking not even in a parking space baby okay didn't even park his fucking car in the parking space damn near ran me over trying to get through the door and i get it people got places to be but like sir get a hold of yourself see that's why we got to teach our kids manners because the kids that don't have manners turn into big ass overgrown adults that don't have manners and that shit is annoying so anyway, I'm headed to go around. I just talked to the doctor, y'all saw. And um, he said he'll be there in a half an hour. No, he'll be, he does it from home. I go to the facility to actually put eyes on the patient. And he said he'll be on the computer in like 30 minutes, which works for me, because then that gives me time to eat my surprise, surprise, <laughs> my avocado toast. Yeah. I'm gonna spray some. I'm being real ghetto right now, y'all. I don't have any type of um <laughs> I don't even want to tell y'all what I'm doing. I don't have any type of hand sanitizer here. You would think that by me being a fucking nurse, I would have some, but unfortunately, every time I put something in here, I don't know what I do with it. And it's purely my fault. Nobody else is there. Nobody else usually is in my car and moving things around. But anyway, this disinfectant spray by Armor All, let me tell you something. You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? So, anywho, um, let's talk about me being on edge. Okay, back up. Like I told y'all, I had the dream about the ex. It was just a dream that I hugged him. When you interpret dreams, they don't mean exactly what they come off as. So, um, I don't know what the hell that is. But I woke up feeling weird, like, the fuck? Um, I had to hurry up and get up. Luckily, I put a scarf on my head because, baby, all I had to do was kind of, like, brush my ponytail, like, re, um, how can I put it? You know what I'm trying to say, like, re-put it up. Cause it was kind of loose and do my edges that was it i didn't have to do a whole lot which i'm thankful for that but i don't know i've been i just been on edge since yesterday now to be honest i'm gonna be 100 percent honest since probably about three days ago i'm aggravated and i can't hide my emotion very well even though i don't even know what the fuck i'm aggravated about my daughter was like, Mom, my 10-year-old, you seem stressed out. I'm like, girl, okay. But that let me know that my kids is in tune to me. They know when something is going on with me. But, um, and I knew something was going on. Honey told me yesterday, though, like, what's up with you today? You're kind of edgy. I'm like, no, nah, you're fucking edgy. What the fuck are you talking about? So, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I 
I got an email about graduation. You heard what I said. 100%. 100%. I got an email saying that my graduation is July 27th. But I won't be done until I, I have another four weeks of class when I um when I graduate. Because I haven't graduated since I was since the RN program probably about five years ago. So I'm just in a state of disbelief to be honest. I cannot believe, and I've been telling y'all this the whole time that this is happening to me what the hell like i put the work in i did the long nights of homework the long days of clinicals i did all that so i i most definitely feel like i'm worthy but i just can't believe that god put me in this position this is crazy to me i still pinch myself like in disbelief like this is I just want to thank God for like literally everything. I can't even say like one particular thing because he has blessed me in so many ways. I mean, just from my health on down to my children's health to fulfilling my desires, all the desire, all the desires that my heart can hold. Um, in this lifetime, he has allowed me to be a grandparent. He has allowed me to um, develop several passions and hobbies i'm just overjoyed i really am that's the best way to put it i'm just like wow yeah yeah girl so you're talking to a graduate girl baby i gotta come with it i don't know what it is but i'm gonna have to come with it Um, I might go through a house of CB because I really like their dresses. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I've been watching on YouTube girls and house of CB been catching my eye, hundred percent. Their dresses are cute, flowy. I don't want anything that is over the top because I'm gonna have a freaking graduation gown on. So. But I did for my associate's graduation, baby. I was to the T, baby. My hair was done, makeup was good. My pictures came out beautiful. Even though I didn't even do no professional pictures. It just, they just came out really good. So I'm hoping I get the same vibe this time. Yeah. I also love my hair up too. Like my hair up in a ponytail is always cute. So maybe I'll get a ponytail from Jazz. I don't know. I gotta see. But your girl graduating, okay? Don't talk to me. You know what I'm talking about? Don't talk to me, because I'm graduating. I'm graduating. Okay, so my hair is all over my head. First of all, I just got off of work. Yep. Tired as hell. I'm about to do my hair because I feel like if I don't do it now, I'm gonna obsess over it while I'm sleeping and I'm not gonna get any sleep. So I just want to put like some jumbo box sprays in my hair because I just kind of want it out of the way. So I'm going to. Um, I seen the tutorial. I just need to know, like, I needed to know how to do the parts. That was my biggest, like, thing. Um, what I'm supposed to be doing with the parts. But I did see a video on YouTube that kind of helped me with my parting. Is that was that what I want to say? It kind of helped me. Um, with the setup, how to set it all up. So, cause I would've just went in and started writing, but this little tutorial, the little bit that I did see, she was like that she starts with the middle part and then she goes from there. So, yeah. To be 
I'm gonna switch out. I've been doing hair for the last two days. Um, my daughter, they went to the Megan Thee Stallion concert, so I did some box braids for her. They were extra long. It took total like six, um, maybe six and a half, seven hours, only because of the length. So I'm tired. I don't wanna do no hair. But then I also can't walk around looking like this. So basically, I'm just gone because I don't have my stand where I put my hair. I'm just putting the hair in random places all across the bathroom, like on my door handles. I got some sitting on this bar thing. On um, my um, bathroom organizer, I'm just real ghetto here, okay? So don't judge me. <laughs> oh, I found another place to put some hair. All right, so I feel like I got it parted off as best as I can. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one. that just arrived and I really have um I agreed to do like five of them so I'm not sure exactly who this is okay this is from I think it's Kenavira Kenavira and um they requested a sponsorship I'm sorry a collaboration with me for some um earrings that I thought was super cute they're like a cubic zirconia I feel like I have my diamond earrings, but I don't have an earring that's like a little hoop. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is kind of like a first reaction because I literally just opened it. And, oh, they sent a little card. It says, thank you. All right, so, oh, these are cute. And y'all see the little huggies in there? I've been wanting some of these so bad. And these are super cute because they have colors on them and y'all know i'm a sucker for like blues but and i think i'm gonna put them in my second hole i 
Okay, y'all, it's been a little minute since I had some in this hole, so give me a second. Okay, you guys, so I am um, headed to clinicals. It's definitely a clinical day for me. Um, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I graduate in uh, July, so right now it's May. Uh, the end of May so I'm feeling some type of way I feel like I am like what the hell is happening to me this is insane um I've graduated several times before but for some reason this feels different I'm gonna turn the air on because it's a little warm outside this feels different to me I feel like I'm it's bittersweet i feel like i'm very emotional this time around because i think that like when i say done with school i feel like i'm done done with school i don't feel like i want to go back for anything else i don't feel like i i have to complete another task as it pertains to school now keeping up my cme hours like my continual education credits and stuff like that of course as a nurse practitioner or a provider or a doctor or whatever you have to do but I just feel different this time, y'all. I just feel like, <sighs> listen, <sighs> I had to wear my good bra today because this tank top is like, it doesn't provide any support, so I had to wear my good bra. And I do have my lab coat, so you won't be able to see that. But I feel good, y'all. I feel like I'm making it to the finish line. I feel like the end is in sight. It's in sight, and, and the closer I get, the more excited I get, the more fearful I get. I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to go into this new role as a, psych a psychiatric nurse practitioner, but I also feel very scared. I feel like I don't want to do the wrong thing medically, give somebody the wrong thing, cause any type of issues. I don't know. Although people who seek psychiatric care, mostly, most of the time they seek it because they really want it or they court ordered to do it. So it's like the people want the treatment. It's just me acting alone and being, like I said, an actual provider. Because as the nurse, when we want something or we feel like the, the patient might want something, we call a doctor or the nurse practitioner. We don't get involved in that. When the patient say, oh, I need some, I need some, um... I need some medication for whatever. We always recommend that they talk to the nurse practitioner. You know, it's always a, uh, you know, talk to the nurse practitioner type of thing. And now I'm gonna be the person that they talk to. So I feel ready, but I do feel apprehensive. Um, yeah. So anyway, that brings me to like a really sensitive topic to me. I got coffee too, by the way. Y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. A lot of people don't wanna say it. A lot of people don't wanna recognize it, identify, agree with it, whatever the case. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Um, I feel like when you seek in mental peace and the people that you feel like are causing you, first of all, let me say this. Y'all know I'm pro mental health before anything else because I feel like if you don't have your mental right ain't nothing else gonna be right so mental health is like my thing which is why I went to school for what I do so obviously as an MP a psych MP you don't get there by not going through going through shit most people in the psychiatric field have went through their own thing and mentally and they're trying to find out more about themselves and other people so I've been through a lot mentally I've been through quite a few things a lot of just like mental anguish I feel and I'm not gonna lie not a lot of it but some of that mental unrest has come from my interactions with family and it, it even it doesn't bother me to say that but it's like <gasps> Like, what did I just say? You know, because you never want to talk bad about your family. You just want to look at your family like, this my family. Like, no matter what, um, you know, don't have, an, don't have a bad opinion. I think this is how we've been cultured and conditioned and raised. No matter what, don't have a bad opinion about your family members. That's your family. Blood is thicker than water. Your family going to be there. Other people not. I got to tell y'all, I respectfully disagree. Don't get me wrong. I my family members we all are close i love them dearly um 
but you gotta take your time away mentally even away from your family i think when when family does something to you it hurts you even more because you think into yourself well this is a person that's close to me so they should want the same things that i want like mental peace mental clarity um they shouldn't want to be just in a negative space but surprisingly a lot of family can test you harder than people on the street and so this just brings me to i feel like the closer i get to school the more people are fucking trying me and the more i have to take a stance against people including my family as it pertains to my mental health um granted everything is not going to be perfect every day is not going to be a peachy day you're going to have some trials and tribulations throughout the days but I do think that some mental unrest is unnecessary. Some shit we go through mentally with people, it's unnecessary. It, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. It's just like you, if you don't put a stop to certain things, you'll keep taking yourself around and around and around and around with people and, and just issues. And I, I'm i just not in that space, y'all. I'm not in a space where I'm wanting to... I'm trying to drink my coffee, but I keep coming to a red light that turns really quick. I'm just not in the space, y'all. I'm not in the space to deal with anybody's opinions about me. Um, I, If you have your opinion about me, that's your opinion. I don't want to deal with your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Also, I'm not going to do what I don't want to do. I'm just not. I've always been that girl. I've always done what I wanted to do. And I've, I don't really do things that I don't want to do. If that makes sense. Um, now, of course, I, I'm a person that compromises for sure. So I may have to do things that I didn't really plan on doing. But because I'm compromising for the situation or for the person, of course, I'm going to do some things that I might think, you know, maybe I don't really, maybe it's really not my speed. But as far as doing something that I'm hard, fast, and I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. And I feel like some people try to force you into certain relationships with them because number one is comfortable for them to have you around um, and number two they really don't care much about mental mental health how you feel mentally how you feel up there emotionally spiritually that's not really a priority for them um, your mental health is not a priority for them, which is why they keep getting you tangled up in these relationships. And when I say relationships, I mean intimate relationships. I mean mother-daughter, father-daughter, sister-sister, sister-brother, cousin, whatever the hell. They just, you know, your mental, your mental health is not their priority. So why would they give a fuck about how you feel when that's not their priority. Their priority is self-gratification, what they want. So if they want to continue this relationship with you because it serves them, it don't matter whether it serves you or not. They don't care. You know, they, they don't care that the relationship don't serve you as long as it serves them. Um, but I think that now as a grown woman, I make it a habit of intentionally doing things um, so that I'm... How can I put this? Intentionally making choices to put me in a better mental space i don't make no choices and involve myself with no people that's gonna leave me in a in an unrested state in a in an uncomfortable state in a you know i'm questioning myself i'm not feeling good on the inside type of state i just don't think it's necessary i don't baby i gotta cut you off <laughs> I gotta cut you off and it's so hard for me because normally I'm a very I am a very forgiving person I'll give you chance after chance I will and I gotta stop that too some chances okay but not too many I'll give you chances I've given this person chances I've talked to this person I feel like and I'm a fool in that area I felt like we developed a decent relationship but then when I read those messages I was like what the fuck is going on and it just caused me to just like not shut down but just not want to be bothered child i don't want to be bothered with that i don't want to be bothered with that why i got a mortgage to pay light gas water 
sewage, home insurance, home warranty, eight kids, one husband, a job, another job I don't get paid for. I'm a student. I rap. I create content. I'm a woman. Why in the fuck would I want to add another issue to my plate? Why? <laughs> I'm living a double life like this, okay? Okay, let's go in. Oh, honey, honey, honey. It feels very, very warm and tropical. Um, outside. And, 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 you know, it's giving... I need to be out of town. Um... This man keeps circling this parking lot. I don't know what that is. Like, are you, are you a patient or are you, um, cause it says he's a tree, a tree care service, but the trees I see are like very small. Very successful day at clinicals. I learned a heck of a lot. I'm very comfortable now. Um, not very comfortable. I'm going to say my comfort has improved when interviewing a patient. You know, if I take some time off, y'all know, if you've been watching, you know I get a little rusty. When I come back, I don't know the right questions to ask or my my interviewing doesn't flow smooth. Uh, and you do have to tailor it for certain patients. Like, if you got a patient that's paranoid, don't just come out and be asking them, do they hear voices? You know what I'm saying? Because most people are gonna tell you no. So it's the art to interview, and I think that's the biggest thing with psych. So I learned a lot today. I learned the difference between a couple of long-acting injections for like schizophrenia and uh, bipolar. I learned um, kind of what to do in a situation where you have what's called polypharmacy, where the patient is taking multiple medications for the same thing. Um, how to not finagle the system, but how to make it whereas you can treat that patient, but you you're gonna give them multiple medications, you know. So, anywho, a very successful day. So I think what I'm gonna do now, y'all, is. Go, y'all. But I think I'm gonna change my clothes and then I'll pop back in with y'all later. I do need to make a couple of business phone calls and one, two personal phone calls. So I will talk to you guys in a second. Did I get you good? Yeah. <laughs> it was far, bro. You can fly dry. Yeah, I could have told you. Yeah, you could have no, told me. No, it was always said, that deep. Hey, Naraya, we're going to whatever this place is called. Mom. It's called Bounce the City. Like the little okay, y'all. So, okay, so basically, I kept the whole thing a secret from them for what about a week? Yeah, that we was going to bounce the city, which is like this huge bouncy house, I guess. And it's the only one in the city, it's only here for like a week. So, anyway, we're about to go in here and have a little fun. I'm trying to see where do we get in at though, because where's your daddy? What is what is he doing? I don't see know. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Over there. So I need to see where do we get in at. I feel like this way. I was gonna go down and go. Yeah, Girl. let me figure out how the hell we get up in here. But uh, yes, honey. Okay, guys. We're walking in. We're in line right now. Oh. How do you feel? How do you feel? Scared? You know? That's the one on the other side. Yes, I do. That looks very scary. Well, it looks scary. It does. <laughs> That's just how it's, it's not that deep. Yeah, it is that deep. Because you're scared okay. now? Okay. Alright, we're checking it in now. Oh my gosh, I see Granny! I see Granny! <laughs> I see Granny! <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. We're back in the sun. Fluffy! 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 Fluff
Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Oh, you still good. Oh, okay. He's telling real good. You know. Huh. Get your own. Yeah. Get your own. Look. Hey, Ma. Hey. What's going on? How you feeling? Hello. I feel all right. Good. So, what we gonna do? How we gonna do it? I don't want no heart attack. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Have a heart attack. And he said he gonna sit with us. Okay. All right, well, we, gonna, we gotta take our shoes off and we gonna get on. We need to start with one and just keep it moving. You not getting on low? Auntie. Yes. How are you feeling on I'm this good. fine day? I'm feeling really, really good. You know what I'm talking about? It's May. It's my other niece's birthday, Mom. And we hit a turn up oh, at the Bass City birthday. Fest. Huh? Yeah, it's I today. I forgot to tell him happy birthday. When was it? It's today. Oh, it's day. Where he at? Oh, um, he in California for some graduation. Keeping my hair good. You are, yeah, because this, this, this is just hot. Exactly. A part. Hers. Part. <laughs> baby, you ready? Look at the baby. Baby, ready. Wow, what are you doing? Ready? Y'all yeah. want this one first? Yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all just leaving, folks? Hey. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. They can have this shit. Okay. Catch wine in there. They was just going. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm oh no! And I'm smashed. You came out the first little exit, huh? Yeah. You you tried to get out the Ooh, first one. Me. First opportunity you had. No, no. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. we looking for some ice, some water, some to drink, nourishment, an IV. They must have knew uh, us old folks was gonna get injured doing it. Yeah, so I now have three band aids and a one on my other arm, and it's a fucking mess, okay? Did you have a good time? Yes. So we Olive Garden, what? Sensational. So, y'all, today is Monday. Today is Memorial Day. Memorial Day, y'all, and me and honey, I think we're about to get lost in the sauce because my mom came over and um, she's now in there with the kids. Um, they ain't really doing nothing, but I'm like, okay, since my mom is here keeping them occupied, now would be a good time for me to like get the fuck out of here <laughs> to go, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods, so I'm gonna go there and look and see what kind of driving suits they have. Also, I think I'm in the mood to take some pictures today. Just some really mid, really mild. Um, there's honey. But I think I'm in the mood to like take some pictures today. So um, it's looking like that's what I'm going to do. I did bring my trusty little contraption. Y'all know I usually bring the tripod, but I always forget this part that connects to the tripod. So we're going to do that today. we also probably going to get some lunch. Don't ask me where because I have no effing idea. Um, but I have on a really chill outfit today. Top is from Walmart. The skirt is by me. It's the gray maxi skirt that I usually wear with my, um, my Biggie graphic tee. But I just want it to be like color blocky, kind of, in a way. Real simple, real chill. So, we're going to see, um, what the day brings, pretty much. Yeah, we got it. 
Orange. Um, oh, extra large. I was lucky. I feel like this is too short for her. She needs like a full neck shirt. Swing it. Do it feel like it's supporting your weight? Yeah, definitely. You and you 200 it. pounds. Okay. You gotta sit in it. It feel like getting up gonna be different. <laughs> Right, how you gonna get out of there? Or like you will, if you had too many drinks, you would bust your ass to try and get up out of there. Yeah. I'm gonna get stuck in there with all these oh. boobs. Uh -huh. Is it relaxing? Yeah. That's why I said you feel like you could fall asleep in there? Yes. Yeah. Just sit down in there. And your drink right there. Especially like on the beach. <laughs> oh, I had to do that. <laughs> That's kind of jacked up, Joe. I wonder how you I don't need no whip. These are too. How cute are these? Look at that. This is like so my speed for sure. I should see if they have them in my size, but I don't need no more sneakers. Like I literally have. <sighs> Enough. I mean, the, the sole is like speckled. I don't know if y'all can see that. The sole is like specked. It's super cool. The what? That's my guys. speed. I would. It depends on which ones. Like these. I will wear these. I will wear these. Not the ones that look like the Sacconis. <laughs> or like the people call them Sacconis. These, huh? Not for me, though. I feel like cool too. Yeah, I will yeah, wear these. Yeah, yeah, I will wear those. I'm, I think I'm a neutral and green girl now. Like I'm really into the neutrals and the green. I'll wear those. These though. Me and Leah got, I should get this color. We got a lot of the colors. Those are shadows. Yeah. It's the thick soul for me. And then they So I guess we're getting a grill today. This is what we're doing here, guys. Honey is wandering out with a grill. He's got a, it's become a problem now. Here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is life here, guys. Samuel Cookus. Samuel Cookus. Samuel Cookus. I don't know what that is, but this is nice. I like the way this feels. This one is nice too. What is this? A ficus. Oh, I hear the girls talking about the ficuses. What's, what's tea to the ficus, y'all? Is it hard to take care of, or what is like the real tea? If I can just get you in here, good grief. What is this? A Sansevieria? Okay. Oh, a Calathea. I hear the girls talk about this too. That's cute. I want to try these. This is what I was trying to tell y'all. I couldn't really talk in there, but he done bought a whole grill, girl. On damn Memorial Day. I'm surprised the prices ain't sky high, but we really got this one on sale. And I'm guessing 
this is kind of similar to the one we had before in which we needed a new one anyway to be honest um yeah it's my first time seeing this though the ribs the chicken and the steak we don't eat steak but we do eat chicken cast iron grates heavy duty steel simple heat control easy mobility i love that easy ash cleanup then he got some it's the best when you get the charcoal already you don't have to like go and get the charcoal perfect so i think we got some kingsford yeah so honey done i should know when he was like man let's pull up below so i'm like okay i'm like okay let's pull up and i told him when i got in there i'm like no before i got in there i'm like we're just going in there to look at the grill and he did good we just went in there to look at the grill but i knew he was gonna buy some shit i think after a certain age your weakness really be like the home improvement store like <laughs> that's really where you want to go it's like not the club not nothing else take me to menards okay there he comes i guess he's gonna load everything up So I'm headed to my car and I see all the roses starting to bloom. I'm so happy. Because y'all know I had cut them way down. Oh, it's a bee over there. Let me get the fuck back. I had cut them way down and I wasn't for sure if they were going to like bounce back, so to speak. But looks like everybody's doing pretty good. All the bugs are just loving them. Why is it always too much going on when I'm around? <laughs> So I get to the door. The man who was coming out as I was going in kind of let the door go on me. So I'm like, okay. But then he came back and was like, oh, no, let me get the door. So he got the door. I went through the door. Before I got all the way in the gas station, he was like, the lady um, at the register, don't let her get to you because she's stupid. I'm like, okay. You know, not sure what the fuck is going on, but okay. So... I get in there, of course, there were no issues with me and the lady because, um, baby, I'm in and out. In and the fuck out. So there was, there was literally nobody in there, which is a very uncharacteristic of Starbucks. Either I beat the rush or they just having like a slow day, which is fine for me. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Starbucks being locked in today. I appreciate them making me happy my first day off of this here vacation that I was on. Woo! Okay, so what's on the agenda today is I need to go to clinicals. I go to the clinic today. I don't go to my job. At the clinic is where I see the really, really sick people. Um, today is like the first day in a long time that I'm just not in the mood for this shit. Um, but, you know, what can you do? This is work. This is life. This is what I do. So I just gotta, you know, muster up the, the excitement. I'll, I'll say that. Muster up the excitement. <sighs> okay, y'all. Can we get into how clear my face is, though? When I say I don't have any bumps on my face, I have not one bump. Not one. My dark spots, of course, even this one has lightened up significantly, but 
I have no bumps on my face. Not a bump, not one bump. I'm very excited about that. It might not seem like a lot to some people, but if you got bad skin, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. When you feel like my skin is doing good, you feel very much like you're able to conquer the world. You feel like you're looking very much good today. I'm very cute. So watch how you talk to me because my skin is clear. You know, you feel a little bit more umph, I guess I would say, throughout the day. When you know your skin looking good. It's like like no makeup looking good. Oh yeah. And which I think that might be part of the key to if y'all notice, I really have not been wearing makeup like that. If I do, it's very minimal, just something under the eyes. Um uh, today I don't have on anything. I just did my skin skincare routine, put my moisturizer on. But I will say that Revita Lift, that L'Oreal Revita Lift, I told y'all I would give y'all like an honest review. Excuse me, I like it. I do. I think it adds a, a certain little something to your skincare routine. I think that it adds, um, I don't know how to put it. Like, it just improves the overall look of your skin, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Anywho, y'all. I think I done about talked y'all ear off. I don't even have anything, anything else to say. I hope everybody's day is going excellently. I hope that everybody is um, feeling good today. That the day is very productive. So I just hope you guys are at like a state of mental peace. I feel like I'm turning into somewhat a hippie girl. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, I think I've always been a little bit of a hippie girl type. I like the waist beads. I like the natural hairstyles. I like the glistening skin. I like the baggy bottoms, the tight tops. I like the like peace and love state of mind. I like the positivity. I like the energy. I just like all of that as it pertains to like being a hippie girl. But I think I'm I think I'm officially a hippie girl to be honest. <laughs> I think it gets very hippy. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all. Um, now I'm just rambling. Now I ain't even talking about nothing. Mommy. Real <laughs> Hold on. So currently what is it's hell? hailing outside, guys. <laughs> is it hail or rain? Yes, it's hail. I knew it, because the way it's bouncing off the, um, Mom, what is hell? <laughs> wow, what is that? Hell is like frozen water. <laughs> what, y'all? <laughs> like, madder than anything else. Like, snow, rain, whatever. But when it's hell, I'm like... I got in the house before you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Alright, baby, go and make your wish. Make your wish. Tell nobody. Cousin, blow the candle. Yay! What?
All right, we're done. We're done here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I better aim, buddy. Don't leave that too far about you, wife. I'm for real. 